So this time I'm playing Philippa, and looking at that and knowing what my deck is, because my opponent's going to play Le Moine, um, I have a big problem because there's not so much board wipes. There's actually nothing. A lot of the cards will not be very useful. I don't expect to get a lot of value out of Dr. Millie. The designers are absolutely useless. Um, I like the Edai ED 4x4 and the Titan Guardian, but that's pretty much the biggest part that I'm seeing out of Logos. Even the International Graft, knowing that Le Moine doesn't really burst outside of the Tribute 6 Emperor, there's not much to be expected from that. The Star Alliance is amazing, but I need to play it. And if I play it, basically, to use it, I'm slowing my hands. And that's potentially a problem. Um, but there's ways to make um, to make Ember here. Untamed, what I'm looking at is typically the Song of the Wild combined with a Ghost Hawk. If I manage to get that, this will bring value. Nature School will be key. This is one of my only ways to get rid of creatures, especially creatures with Ember captured on them. So nature score will need, will need to be used at the right time and ideally to slow my opponent and to avoid uh, captured ember. The key charge, I mean, if I get it at the right time, otherwise I'll just discard it. Uh, so let's go. Here we go. So I just starting the game now and I wish good luck to my opponent playing uh, my lovely Le Moine. And I think I'm going to keep this hand. I've got a very nice forehand in uh, Star Alliance. And I'm thinking, okay, if I manage to keep that Bibliophile alive, I would be able to maybe get some value out of it, or at least use it as forcing my opponent to um, to destroy some creatures. I know there's not so much uh, creature destruction. So I think turn one bibliophile is the way to go. And here I go, logos, bibliophile, and here we go. My opponent plays Starlands and Kirby. All right. And use the Kirby to Imperium and turn. I would just play Star Alliance. I think uh, I've got Garcia's Blaster and Garcia. Maybe I'm playing my Star Alliance a little bit too quickly. I have to remember my opponent has a board wipe, but at that point, my logic is just go as fast as I can. I steal one with the Blaster, and I play the rest of my Star Alliance hand. It's just simpler. I want to go fast and the quite nice thing is I do not have any board wipe in that deck, but I have the nature scroll in hand. So if things get a little bit hairy, I should be able to do something interesting. Oh no, no that's a terrible hand. The Dr. Mini is useless. The key charge is useless. Okay, place Tenopius, Chant of Hubris, and place the Imperial Road. And so it goes on the Bibliophile. It's a little bit silly when you think about it. So I can either play one card with Star Alliance. I think I have to remember there's four Tremors here. So if I can get value of my board, I should do it. So let's just play Star Alliance. Play one card instead of two. I think it's worth it. Play my creature. I will okay, we'll use the blaster just to to shoot at King Khan. Well could shoot at King Khan. <laughs> shoot at Kirby. I think that's what makes most sense here. Yep. I will shoot Kirby, take off the ward. And I will increase the key cost for next turn. Oh, I just need to get to kill the Kirby. So let me just do that. Yep. 
yep, I capture one on another creature. I'm just thinking here, his board wipe is not going to like me having a lot of embers on my creatures. So I try to spread it as much as I can. I draw two cards and I think I have to play Logos next turn. That's a little bit silly. I could just continue like that actually. Ah, Tremors my board. So he's played two Tremors already. He's got zero Ember and I will get absolutely no value. Logos could be fast, but then what do I do? Do I sit on the... It's... Uh, I think I'm playing Star Alliance here. I unstun my board and try to get more value out of my board. Worst things comes things come to worse. He destroys the board. And then I can play Logos. I want to get maximum value what's on my board because of this turn. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm not sure this is really an optimal play, but I'm forcing a reaction out of him. The problem is I'm slowing my draw and I think this is not great either. He moves into Star Lines, plays another Kirby. That's the second curb, second and last Kirby, so it's definitely a prime target for me. He plays the Universal Translator on it, play the Cloaking Dungle, zaps. Yeah, so he's zapped and my last turn was a waste, pretty much. And uses Tribute to put on Alaka. And Imperial Roads, Brutodon. Okay, so what do I do here? He's moved to 5 Ember, thanks to... And you have to appreciate that the Ember acceleration in this deck comes mostly from uh, Star Lines. But now that he's played his Tribute, I just need to bring everything back to hand. I think, I think, yeah, I, I play the Untamed. And I can actually forge, which is interesting for me. Yeah. If I'm playing the card in the right order and leave the key charge for the end, I can bring all his creatures back to hand, slow him down quite a bit. And so also he loses on his artifacts, which I think is the right thing to do at the moment. Because he's got this Kirby behind the Brutodon. I don't like that. Yeah. Everything goes back to hand. And now I do not have any good ways to clear the board. So now I need to race. <laughs> but I'm forging my first key ahead of him. So that's, that's the trade-off here. All right, if he goes above six, there's a good case to be made to play the interdimensional graft. Play Star Runs again, he's gonna play his Kirby again, he's gonna probably, uh, Okay, Stenopius behind the Brutodon. Makes sense. Imperial is doing so much work in this deck. Place Kirby. Good. Place six Ember. Okay, just for one Ember. And Tachyon Pulse. 
I'm not sure about the tachyon pearls here. Honestly, I don't have. I don't think this deck has any uh, artifact management, and he was getting a lot of value out of it. The six emperor is unfortunate. If he had it, by the time he had the um, the tribute, he would have gotten a lot more value out of it. But he's to eight, and I can't use my Garcia, so I will protect Garcia. I will play melee for zero. It's completely useless, but I want. I want to be able to draw cards from uh, my tight, uh, my Titan Guardian. And I have a good board. So now at that point, I'm realizing I never thought about it, but I can play the disruption field onto my automaton. And I'm thinking, oh wow, I had missed that the whole time. This is really good. Plays Alaka, Stelkin, Skull, and leaves it up to me. So I don't have any upgrade to recuperate. That's a little bit sad. And we're really head to head here. And um, I don't have a King Khan anymore. So I'm going to play the disruption field on the automaton. And I hadn't thought about that when I trained with this deck, but it's actually pretty sweet. And I could even have the Automaton reap now for an extra cost. I, am I thinking about that? No, I'm not. Okay, so that's a mistake from me. I could have increased this key cost right now. Not that I don't think it will be such a difference, but I should have taken advantage of it. Now I have, I can reap and I can destroy Uh, Kirby and his second Kirby will be in the discard and that's that will slow down his deck a lot and now I'm playing my last final creature I have a lovely board and that probably won't last yeah plays prop now I staff Stilkin fights Commander Chan, kills my uh, Murmuk. Okay, I get plus one. Uh, what do you do here? Reaps. All right. Plays a Tremor. The Tremor is so obnoxious. All right. But I can forge my second key and he's at four. I think now I made the right choice because I am going to... I have a choice between Logos and uh, an Untamed, pretty much. And I will go for Logos, and I think this is the right choice. And the reason why I went for Logos is to play the Igor and see some of the coming cards in my deck. And I see the Song of the Wild, and I'm thinking, okay, I can burst Ember with the Ghost Orb and the Song of the Wild. So this is what I'm going to do. And this is the plan for the following turn. So I am playing uh, my Quant, my Hologramophone, and I'm unstunning my board. And finally, I will start reaping with, uh, with its Automaton. And I should have done that in the previous turn, and that was a misplay on my end. Okay, and then I'm getting, okay, Exhaust, plays a Centurion, Axiom, that was bound to happen, and I only have, uh, I was very lucky I didn't have a radiant. and that's the problem with the reactivity of the Soyans in, in Le Moine, because you, were, you had no way to destroy my automaton in here and it's it managed to save him 
So I'm thinking here, I need creatures to reap to get to my last key. So what I will do is actually play Logos to get ready for my big for my big turn at uh, Untamed. Play Desania, play the Plasmate, doesn't really matter, minimum damage, Hologramophone, Hologramophone the Desania, that makes sense. And my turn, I'm in a good position. So Heal's playing Starlines, and he doesn't have much left, but he's got Lay of the Land, He's still got his uh, um, Lieutenant Karka as well, or oh, Morpheus as well, of course. Karka, here it is. Uh, and the stealth mode. And the stealth mode is a big pain for my Song of the Wild play. So I think at that point, I'm realizing really the value of the Automaton. So I'm going to play Logos again and go to check while stopping my opponent from checking. There's absolutely minimum control ember, ember control for my opponent. So he would have to outpace me. My board is fully warded and his keys cost eight now. I'm in a very good place. And I have two creatures that could reap next turn for four and I'm at six ember. So I am really, really good right now. And I don't think it's got anything unless he wipes my board, but goes for Saurian, plays the Colosseum, very good, but then he's got to attack. Plays another Brutodon, yeah, fights the reassembling automaton, but just removes the ward. Captures one, okay, good. And remove also the world from Desania. So I'm doing my final play. I'm going to call Cauldron Boil to get rid of one of the creatures. Good. Play all my cards. Molfin, the Fog Bank, the Song of the Wild. And now for the coup de grâce, I am going to play the Ghost Hawk and reap with my two Logos creatures for four Ember. Yep, finish at 11. And his keys cost nine now. Interestingly enough, I've got a pretty poor turn next round, but that doesn't really matter right now. Uh, Tremors, Reassembling Automaton, Designer and Ghost Talk, I don't think it's got anything. And there's absolutely zero ember control in uh, in Brobnar, so, well, a very awkward ember control. Plays the Steelkin, plays the Mog Hunter. Attacks with the Steelkin, what can you do? Oh, boost Fire Breath, oh, very good. Berserk a Slam, cool, 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 cool. Taken, and that's GG. Thanks very much. Uh, so that's four out of four games. And I can say, well, this one, I'm very happy. I'm still unsure how I can win more games with Lum 1. I think Lum 1 ends up being quite bad. We'll see.